Hey guys, Attorney McQuaid is not saying much about the real possibility she could be replaced. No word on if she'll submit a resignation by January 20th, which is when Donald Trump takes office. I had the privilege of a job I really love for seven years. It's been the professional privilege of a lifetime, and uh, we'll wait and see what's, what, what happens next. She spent nearly 20 years in the U.S. Attorney's Office and has been at the helm of it for seven. We caught up with Barbara McQuaid Monday. She, along with FBI head David Jellius, announced efforts to crack down on hate crimes. She could very well be on the outs once the Trump administration takes office in January. Well, I don't want to write my obituary just yet, but I'm very proud of the work we've done here together. I'm proud of the work we've done to attack public corruption. I am proud of the work we have done to protect our national security, and I'm very proud of the work of our civil rights unit, which has worked very hard uh, not only to prosecute hate crimes, but to bring civil enforcement actions to ensure uh, the, the promise of the American dream to all Americans. Appointed by President Obama in 2010, McQuaid is very much a trailblazer. She's the first woman to serve as U.S. Attorney in Michigan's Eastern district. Former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick was convicted on public corruption charges during her tenure. She was part of the team that scored a conviction against the underwear bomber. And she works tirelessly to build trust with community organizations like the Detroit chapter of the National Action Network. There was not a hate crime. There was not public corruption. There was not a civil rights case. There was not a community issue that we talked to Barbara McQuaid and she got right on top of it. But if she's replaced, what happens with the relationship the Muslim community has now with the U.S. Attorney's Office? Well, it's hard to say, but most likely it probably will go downhill. DeWood Wallet heads up Michigan's Council of American Islamic Relations and is deeply concerned about who President-elect Trump appoints as Attorney General. Whoever fills that seat can appoint a new district attorney in Detroit. I don't really expect very much coming good from the Justice Department if uh, Mr. Sessions or anyone, uh, Giuliani, whoever Mr. Trump puts forward, to be frank with you. McQuaid says she's aware of their concerns, but is confident the U.S. Attorney's Office will remain committed to issues of civil rights and prosecuting hate crimes, regardless of what changes may come.